Hey there. So um, in this unit, we're looking at how you can build habits, how you can build some actions into your life um, before you start to put yourself out there, before you start to interview. Um, you know, what are the practices that are going to keep you motivated, keep you grounded, keep you as um, healthy as you can be. And there are four contemplative, contemplative, contemplative <laughs> practices that can support that career growth. Um, and in this unit, I'm going to be teaching you four different kinds. Um, and this week is about action. And so it's about the action. Uh, yeah, it's about thinking about things deeply while you take action. So often when people think about having a contemplative program or practice in their life, they think it's, you know, meditating, <laughs> right? It's all hands and it's meditating. And a sitting meditation, we'll get into that in week three, is an absolute option. But a lot of people are not interested in that. Um, it can be a very challenging place to start. And there's also, if you can get um, the benefits through another way, then you may not need a sitting practice. Everyone's practice looks different. So for me, I like a combination of, in terms of how I'm going to reflect, I like to write and I like to meditate. Those are the things that make me feel grounded, that, um, yeah, they make me feel grounded. They feel great. Um, they have some depth to it. Keeps me, um, yeah, positive. I feel you know, when I have instincts about things that I shouldn't do or I should do, I feel good. I feel like my practices support me. For some people, that's not through sitting and writing, right? Sitting and writing may be the wrong way to go about it. So let's talk about maybe using how you could use action to do that and what that looks like. So contemplative action is doing contemplations, which is really just deep thinking, deep focus thinking on something, but as you move. And so you are not sitting still, you are moving as you're thinking about things deeply. This could be depending on, on how you like to move and what your body can do. This could be dancing, this could be walking, this could be running, this could be yoga, this could be stretching, this could be housework. This could be um, putzing in your garden. So what we're looking for, is there any sort of physical activity that you do that while you do it, it allows you to be um, get to a zone where you can ask yourself some deep questions, right? So you're asking yourself, um, well, and it kind of depends on, on what you're asking yourself. You know, if you're doing something like the the career cards or thinking about what's next, is you might just go, yeah, when, what kind of place do I want to work at? You know, and then, you know, dig in the garden and see if an answer comes to you. Or it might be, you know, I'm, I'm trying to decide between these two titles and what I should call myself. And maybe it's going for a run and thinking about that as you run. So some people process by doing, right? Which is the danger of saying you can only have a contemplative practice if you're, if you're meditating, because maybe that's not good enough for you. So the question ask yourself is really, does movement help you process ideas? Have you ever had um, been in movement, whether it's like a walk or run, dance, yoga, stretching, um, gardening, doing housework? Are there things that when you physically move, help you to unlock ideas? <laughs> does it does it allow you, um, yeah, do you think of things as you move? It's really quite common for, for that to happen. And so that's your own investigation is go, okay, does movement help me to process ideas? 
is this a way that I can stay in touch with what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, and tune in with my body? Is it a way to build some intuitive skills and to build some focus? So this week, here's a little experiment you can do. Think of a question that you're looking to, you know, looking for an answer for, right? So maybe uh, you, have a, you have a question, you're like, should I, <laughs> um, should I reach out to this person? Or should I write a blog post about this topic? Or um, yeah, should I reach out to that old contact and which introduction is better? So think of a question that you actually want an answer to. And then choose a physical activity, preferably one that you enjoy doing, and just try doing that activity and thinking about the, the thinking of the question that you have. And see, assess if doing something physically is a way that helps you to get an answer. Does that work for you? Right? That's what you want to reflect on. Do you find answers when you're moving? and thinking about something. Does adding movement to your week, does it, does it give you energy? Does it make you feel good? Does it uh, keep you um, thinking more positively than you, than you were before? Does it make you feel like you're not stuck? Does it change how you feel about yourself or your career? And if it does, so if you find that adding movement to your week does some really incredible things to you, then the last question to ask yourself is, what is the least amount possible <laughs> that you could commit to in a week? Because saying, hey, I'm going to start, if, you've, if you haven't done anything, so if you're mostly going to work, coming home, searching for jobs, or you um, don't go for if you, you spend all day like hunched over a computer and you eat a little bit and you scroll through LinkedIn and social media and then you come back and scroll. Um, if you haven't done any, saying that you're going to do it seven days a week is a lot. But could you say, make a promise to yourself and go, you know what, um, two afternoons a week, I'm going to go for a walk and ask myself a deep question. Or um, three mornings, so on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday, I'm going to, um, you know, do a yoga practice. And while I'm in Shavasana, I'm going to ask myself some questions. So really, it becomes, yeah, how could you add this to support the rest of your career work? And yes, at the same time, you can be doing other work. You can be thinking about your values. You can be reaching out to people. You could be writing your resume, practicing your stories. Like you could be doing all those things, but would adding some active contemplation to your weekly schedule help you? And that's what you want to investigate this week. So this week, again, I'll bring it back to your homework. This week is choose a question that you're looking for the answer to and try thinking about it as you do a physical action and see if um, you get an answer and if it's an enjoyable thing and if it is awesome, think about how you might use it. And if it doesn't work for you, cool. Next week, we're gonna try a different way. All right, so happy exploring. Let me know what activity you choose and if it works for you. Okay. Thanks.